Well guys, I got the CCKA here for the Red 450 almost totally back together. And uh, the Red 450 is a poser, I'm going to call it. Because if you look here, you see all that yellow paint that's under the red paint? Somebody definitely spray bombed this freaking thing to make it red. It should not be red. So, that being said... Um, I got to get the stator on and the old stator on this motor was shot and uh, I have this stator here that's really dirty but uh, what I've learned here is that just to illustrate something if I can with one hand is that you can test the stator with a continuity tester if it's got continuity to ground then it's no good and this old stator, believe it or not, has continuity to ground. Let's see if I can get it to beep. If I can do the one-handed wire routine here. Hear it? I shorted out. This dirty, nasty-looking stator does not have any continuity to ground which is very good news it's got nothing 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 so it's good and it does have a continuous winding it's not broken if I put the meter on both of these leads here so I can do this one-handed this is really tough but, uh, let's see you can hear that it beeped so it's good so I'm gonna spray some uh, you know, uh, electrical cleaner on there and hose it off. It's all full of dirt just baked in there from years of dirt going behind the flywheel and everything. So I have this uh, CRC electric cleaner and I'm going to blast it with that and clean it up and get all this crap off of it before we install it. This is what I got, the CRC Electromotive electric parts cleaner. And this stuff is nasty, so I'm going to spray it over the garbage can here. But you got the idea. Well, guys, I got the Onan here almost totally assembled. I pretty much just have to put on the intake, the flywheel, and uh, the blower housings, and the starter. And I think I'm going to do all that while it's on the machine. Just so it's a little lighter, because this thing weighs a freaking ton, and I don't think I could get it off this bench uh, if I put all that on without breaking my back by myself. So, let's see. Let's take a look here at the intake. So, these old machines get so dirty. Look at all this crap on there. So, what we're going to do is uh, try to clean all that crap off that intake. This old coil here is going to go in the garbage because it's shot. And it was a 6-volt coil, as you can read on there, 6-volt Onan. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to put the GM uh, Chevy DIS ignition on here. So we're going to drop this little uh, uh, resistor that they put on here, with the factory one. This would bring the uh, 12 volts down to 6 volts, so we no longer need that. So that's gone. And... Uh, Basically, I'm going to take this hose clamp off that holds on the stock coil. Uh, I'm going to unbolt all the carb from this intake and all this stuff uh, for purposes of cleaning it. And uh, the carb I'm going to take apart. I got a new uh, gasket for the carb base here, which we'll install. And uh, we'll clean out the carb real nice and uh, put it back together again. And yeah... I'm thinking about spray painting it yellow also before I put it back on the machine. I think that would be a nice touch. Get rid of this crappy ass red. And uh, these original bolts from the intake are still good, so we'll reuse those. I just hit them on the wire wheel and get some of that sludge out of it. But it's amazing how much oil these things leak over the years. And then what happens is you drive through dust and then you got dirt in your oil. And it just makes a mess, you know? This manifold has the hole, this one hole here was drilled out 
and uh, they put a 3 8 inch bolt in there to hold on the muffler, which I'm fine with. I got new gaskets for the muffler surface here. I got new gaskets for the intake surface. And uh, I think this will be a nice machine. So, all right, we'll get to it. That looks like it's a repair on there, like someone welded something on there. That's interesting. Anyways, we'll clean it up and go from there. Well, I cleaned it up, and this thing was definitely brazed by somebody. And uh, that's really weird. I mean, it ran okay when it was on the machine, so I'm just going to put it back. But it was either welded or brazed. I think it might be a weld, because it doesn't look like it's bronze or brass or anything. So maybe someone stick welded it with a nickel rod or something. I don't know, but it's just really weird. Maybe it got a crack in it. I don't know why that would have happened, but... Uh, it kind of worries me, but hey, we'll put it on, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, right? Worst case, we look for another manifold. They're really hard to find because the bolts are always broken off in these threads. So for now, uh, we'll just proceed with this one. I'm going to put the carb in the dunk tank overnight and get it all cleaned up nice. And then uh, we'll go from there. Well, we got it apart. It's really not that bad inside. Believe it or not, but uh, we'll drop it in the can and get all this grime out of it. And uh, my solution here is getting a little black from all the grease that's in it, but it still works. And uh, the float has a little bit of crap on it. We'll just let that float in there and clean up as well. But uh, we'll put the lid on and we'll come back tomorrow.